Howdy, gang. Big Ed just here to uh, give you a quick video update on the latest addition to the family. This little guy you're going to see on the screen right now. This is Rufus, or at least I think it's a Rufus. If it's not a Rufus, it might be a Ruthie. And if it's a Ruthie, I definitely want to come up with a better name than Ruthie. No offense to Ruthies. But if it's a boy, it's Rufus. Anyway, this little guy, I walked out, I was walking by my front door yesterday and something caught me out of the corner of my eye. It looked like a bunch of wet leaves, but it hasn't rained in a couple days. So I opened the door, looked down and it was moving and I was like, oh, geez, all right. So I went down and saw and it was literally a newborn rabbit, or at least I think it's a rabbit. It's not a skunk, got enough of those. Um, I went and checked. Anyway, I think it's a rabbit. I hope it's a rabbit. I love rabbits. <laughs> um, but uh, dude was, it was, you know, you can see in this video here, he was newborn, he was wet. I don't know where his mother was. I took the quick video and called uh, a couple of vets called the animal hospital and they're like, oh, leave him alone. The mother will come and get him. And that was, I know that's logical in the animal world, but just something told me some paternal earthly instinct inside of me said, this doesn't really strike me as right because where is the mother? And my main concern is we have a few red-tailed red -tailed hawks in the area, and I've seen them grab little animals and take off. Also, we have foxes and skunks and coyotes. So, you know, I was concerned about the little guy, not to mention whatever else could come along and grab him. So, okay. I listened to the animal hospital I went and watched a movie. An hour later, I went out there with my flashlight, didn't see him anywhere, so I thought everything was fine. Long story short, I go out for a hike today to go out to the woods. I'm about to get in my car, and I look to my left out of the corner of my eye, and there's the poor little guy. I thought he was dead. He was all curled up. I couldn't tell if he was breathing, so I got real close, and he was barely breathing. So I got him. Brought him inside, put him in a box with a towel, cleaned him up, started feeding him goat's milk because that's what it says to do on the web. The web's always right, right? And I've got a baby, Rufus, and he's doing much better now. He's actually, the, he tried to, he got so frisky, he tried to climb out of the first little box. So I had to put him into a bigger box. Um, the problem is that with rabbits, according to the interwebs, you have to uh, nurse them for about 13, 14 days and then just set them out into the wild. I would do that. I have no problem with that. The reason I kind of grimace a little bit is, you know, we have coyotes and hawks and other predators, foxes. So found out that there's a nature uh, reserve uh, rescue place out in Jolton, about a half an hour, 40 minutes from here. So as soon as Rufus gets a little stronger, he's going out there with the West of the Wabbits and the other aminals, and hopefully he'll be okay. But I think he's okay. I'm, I don't want to say he's over the, uh, I mean, he was out in the elements from the point I saw him first till this today was 18 hours. He had obviously been outside, curled up in a ball against the um, partition of the driveway, which he couldn't get over because it was a couple of feet, and um, just curled up there. I'm, I'm shocked that a predator didn't get him. I'm, I'm pleased, um, but I really didn't think he was going to make it. So, Rufus, hold on, buddy. We're going to make it. Thanks for watching.